Scientists are preparing to create the first northern white rhino embryos. Is this the last chance before extinction? A new masterpiece nature documentary never seen before about our group, mammals. A 120 million year old bird discovered. How is it possible that dinosaurs still live in the form of birds? Look at this! Look at this! Hey, yes, mammals, welcome to another Nature News. This is very, very epic, awesome, amazing. You don't want to miss this. Let's start right away. We're going to start with wildlife as we always do. I'm going to divide this topic into three. Let's start with the first one. What is going on in the rhino conservation world, okay? Something very important happened, as some of us know. The northern white rhino is practically functionally extinct, okay? Yet, they are still trying to save the entire species. They are trying to save them. With they, I mean wildlife fans. Conservationists, scientists, amazing people. This is one of the biggest operations in wildlife conservation. There are hundreds of people probably involved, millions of dollars. This is really big. This is about the future of an entire subspecies. Or actually multiple subspecies, but more about that later. So now you are definitely wondering how in the rhino shit can you see an entire species when there are only two left? Two, which are by the way two females. How the hell is that possible? The answer is... We fucked it. They're all dead. He's dead. But it is not over yet. But I lived. Embryos. Embryos. Embryosa. What? Okay. They are creating embryos. So that is the last and only chance to save the northern white rhino from never existing ever again. This is it. Embryos is the last chance. There is hope. The people from BioRescue have been working on creating rhino embryos for years now. The power of IVF is the multiplication factor. If we have embryos, we can multiply, we can have 10, 20, maybe 30 embryos a year and then place them in southern white rhinos and then uh, create a new northern white rhino population in a very, very short time. We wanted to prove that our approach works with southern white rhino genetic material as it is more available. By mastering this step, we can now use a northern white rhino embryo for the first time. We are confident that, that we will change the world tomorrow. They're maybe also going to use this new, these new techniques, this new science for other species, other rhino species as well. For example, the Sumatran rhino and the Javan rhino, which are also almost extinct, sadly. Were you killed? Sadly, yes. So, what is happening, man? Oh, can you see him? Can you see him? By the way, if you are new here and you are a real nature freak like me, I invite you to join us on our mission to make the planet green again. If that sounds like you, attack that subscribe button like a wild animal and become part of this amazing and important journey. The second part, the second question here is why are rhinos worth saving? Why should you care? You that's watching this video right now, why should you care about rhinos? There are a few very good reasons. The first reason is rhinos are a keystone species, right? Now, you're wondering, what is a keystone species? Keystone species is a species that is very important for the ecosystem that that animal lives in. If that animal would go extinct, the ecosystem would totally change and maybe even collapse in certain parts or totally. Rhinos play a very important role in maintaining ecosystems, all right? Actually, in some places, rhinos play an even more important role than elephants even. The second reason is rhinos are prehistoric historic as hell. They have been around for about 55 million years. 55 million years! They were not supposed to go extinct anytime soon, man. It was not supposed to happen. They deserve to live. All the individual rhinos, all the individual animals deserve. They simply deserve to roam free like every other wild animal on this planet. Just like you deserve to be here, to live, to watch this video right now. In peace. Inner peace inner peace and as a species they deserve to be here they don't only deserve to be here this species is supposed to exist here and three we did this humanity caused the extinction of the northern white rhino by poaching habitat destruction mainly poaching now it is also our duty our obligation even try and fix what there is left to be fixed now it is our obligation to do the exact opposite to help them thrive instead of genocide and four look at these baby rhinos come on look, just look at this look at these baby rhinos 
this already says enough. Even the babies are one of the most dangerous animals in the world, so I built this cage to keep them secure so there's no possible, oh my god. And that leads me to the last point of this topic. This is very quickly, very easy, very simple, but actually the most important. How can you help the world's rhinos? It is not that difficult. And if enough people contribute, it will, will literally make the difference between extinction or not. You can donate to rhino conservation. Donate to rhino conservation. These are all the websites. Go to them, donate anything that you can miss. It will literally make a giant difference enough people donate to rhino conservation educate yourself on rhinos nature in general how important it all is watch these amazing epic nature documents i mean come on there's on netflix youtube it is literally free our planet for example you can watch it right there boom educate yourself and others how amazing beautiful and important nature is these are all things that help share this video but more importantly share this message the message about rhinos are very much in danger of going extinct and they are worth saving because they are an important part of this world the slaughter must stop now get little cat Fala nose mammals, let's go to the next topic. This, another wildlife topic. There is a new epic nature documentary never seen before about our group, the mammals. The mammals. Mammals? The trailer. Oh, this is big. When I first watched this trailer, I almost shit myself. I was totally caught off guard. I really did not expect something so intense, amazing, epic. I sat like in silence for a minute after watching the trailer. It's so, what is the right word? Attention grabbing. Like halfway the trailer, I already new just like other nature documentaries from bc earth you know it's gonna be so awesome and 100 percent worth your time there will be six episodes six parts dark the new wild water cold heat and forest found in every ocean and on every continent sir david edinburgh reveals the world of mammals and the secrets of their success it is a privilege to even speak his name Ooh. That is just... <laughs> I am living in a tree right here. I always feel blessed and so privileged to live in this time where we have such amazing, like the best quality and highest educational nature documentaries. Just available right there, boom, on YouTube, Netflix and every time there is a new one. And again, and again, and again. Lately, so many new nature documentaries. Not too long ago, there was Prehistoric Planet Season 2, Planet Earth 3, Our Planet 2, Predators on Netflix, a really nice one. And now, Mammals, another one. It's just amazing. Mammals, where would we be? Where would we be without these nature documentaries? I mean, I, I know where I would be, at least not here. Because these nature documentaries, all of them that I've watched, have always been the biggest sources of education, inspiration, motivation and just pure passion these nature documentaries that's where it's all started for me the roots of my passion david Edinburgh, i salute you oh yes man forever hey, whoa, whoa. what the hell's going on there was a butterfly next to me he's flying with me and once again he just stalks me everywhere i go whoa, whoa. all right mammals all right mammals it is time for the last topic, and you know what that means. It is time to go prehistoric. Now, let me try it again. Prehistoric. Check this out, man. Oh, that is the new style. Shit. Oh, it's right here. I got it. This last topic is about birds. And now you are wondering, what the fuck? Are you plucking my whiskers? I thought it was time to go prehistoric. And now you're going to talk about birds. What many people don't know is that birds evolved from dinosaurs. A new 120 million year old bird is discovered in northeast China. And this is not just any bird. First of all, the name is already pretty epic. It's funny, we just talked about David Edinburgh. This bird is actually named after the legendary Sir David Edinburgh. This bird is called Imparavis Edinburgh E. Edinburgh with a letter I after it. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. This bird belongs to a diverse bird group called Enantiornithines. I practice that word a lot of times. Boom, I can just say it like that. And then to your knife finds, boom, that's what it is. 
this group of birds is where modern birds come from. That's where they evolved from, the Enantior knife finds. What's so special about Enantior knife finds? The thing is, back in the day, and I mean not like in the 90s, I meant 120 million years ago, back in that day, all birds actually had teeth and little claws. Little claws like him. Come on, show me your claws, man. Can you see the claw? Ooh, that is... Okay, I... So that's funny because the birds, the birds, just birds, <laughs> the birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. That's the same group, by the way, the same group of dinosaurs that T-Rex belongs to and Velociraptor. So from theropod dinosaurs to Enantior knife finds to chickens, basically. <laughs> Enantior knife finds are very weird. Crazy thing about these birds is, of course, as I said, they have teeth and claws, little claws. If you would go back in time with a time machine, 120 million years, in northeastern China, and you would go for a nice walk in the forest, you would see a robin, a bird like a robin, sitting on a tree, on a branch, right there. But then, he would open his beak, and there would be all kinds of teeth in his beak. A little beak filled with tiny teeth, like a flying piranha and then he would raise his little wings up and you would see giant 10 centimeter claws and he would come at you and slash open your throat and eat you alive the point is you are alive when they start to eat you that is a bit dramatic of course but you would see little claws of course they all have talents like rp eagle of the jiving insane talents i'll pop a photo up right here look at his talents so the whole reason why this new bird this new discovery this imparavis bird is so important and special is this one doesn't have teeth this was the first bird or at least one of the first birds that we've discovered that didn't have teeth but imparavis was probably a very arboreal bird which of course means they spent a lot of time in the trees are almost all birds except penguins I reject nature ah! ostriches so they may venture to the ground to eat some seeds insects fruits this could be the very reason why Imparavis lost their teeth this is another piece of evidence in the whole mysterious evolution of birds how the dinosaurs evolved into birds Maybe here, or here, or here, okay <laughs> here, here, or maybe across the belly Spilling your intestines. We are still so much to learn about the evolution of birds alone, let alone all kinds of other species, ancient species, dinosaurs. But one thing we do know for sure, and that is they definitely did something right. Because of them, dinosaurs are still alive in the form, in the shape of 10,000 bird species. Alright, that is it for this Nature News Mammals. Oh, remember to do everything that you can to help rhinos. That is the biggest, most important part of this video, okay? Help rhinos in any way that you can. Share this video, share the message, educate yourself, educate others, watch documentaries, donate literally one dollar, five dollars, something to rhino conservation. I'll pop it up right now again. Uh, I can't leave links in my YouTube video. I will fix that, but for now I can't really do it. Probably by the time you are watching this video, there will be links in the description already. Be on the right side of history because they need your help. Be a good mammal. Choosing to help is always better than not choosing at all. Yeah. All right. Hmm. It fucking stinks here. It smells like a buzzard's butt fell off and then got sprayed on by a bunch of skunks. One Nature News every week if you want more of this epic, amazing, important wildlife content. If you want some faster, short wildlife content, check out Wild Facts. I gotta say what I always, always say. Let's make the whole entire planet green again. And I will see you in the next video. Let's go wild. <laughs>